From the pioneers who laid the foundation of the game to the modern-day legends who continue to redefine its boundaries, hockey has had its fair share of great players. It is one of the most popular sports in the world, but also one of the oldest. The earliest documented evidence of a game resembling hockey takes us to Canada in the mid-1800s. Unsurprisingly, most of the players you are about to see are, well, Canadian. Welcome to Who's Number One. In this video, we are going to delve into the careers and accolades of the top 10 hockey players of all time. But, before starting, let's see if you can guess who's number one in the comments section below. Now, without further ado, let's get started. Number 10, Alexander Ovechkin. One of only two still active players on this list, Alexander Ovechkin has consistently showcased his incredible scoring ability throughout his career, winning the Maurice Richard Trophy as the league's leading goal scorer a record nine times, surpassing the previous record of six. He became only the third player in NHL history to score 800 goals, and is currently second all-time in goals scored with 822, just behind Wayne Gretzky. He is also the player who has had the most 40-goal seasons in history, with 13. His individual excellence has earned him three MVP awards, and he helped the Washington Capitals to their first-ever Stanley Cup title, receiving the Conn Smythe Trophy as the MVP of the playoffs. Born in 1985 in Moscow, Russia, Ovechkin is also a 13-time All-Star. Individual greatness is what defines Ovechkin's career so far, and at 37 years old, he still has time to get a better place on this list. Number 9, Guy Lafleur. Guy Lafleur was both productive and consistent at a legendary rate. His smooth skating made him difficult to hit, he was a master of the puck, and he had skills like no other. Born in 1951 in Quebec, Lafleur became the first player in NHL history to score at least 50 goals and 100 points in six consecutive seasons. During his NHL career, which spanned from 1971 to 1991, Lafleur played mostly for the Montreal Canadiens, with whom he won five Stanley Cup championships and two MVP awards. He also won the trophy three times, the Conn Smythe title once, and was a 10-time All-Star. Number 8, Sidney Crosby. Sid the Kid was one of the most lauded prospects in ice hockey history, and so far, he has lived up to the expectations. Born in 1987 in Nova Scotia, Canada, and still active, Crosby established himself as a legend before turning 30. He has played in the NHL for the Pittsburgh Penguins since 2005, and has won three Stanley Cup titles with them. He is also a two-time MVP and nine-time All-Star. Crosby is the youngest player to ever reach 100 points in an NHL season, doing so in his first season at just 18 years old and he is also the youngest player and the only teenager ever to win a scoring title in any major North American sports league, doing so in his second season at age 19. He has won the Art Ross, the Conn Smythe, and the Maurice Richard trophies twice. While already a legend, Crosby still has time to climb a few spots on this list in the next few years. Number 7, Marc Messier. Messier sits third in points and assists in NHL history, with 1,887 and 1,193 respectively. Born in 1961 in Edmonton, Alberta, Messier played in the NHL from 1979 to 2004, mainly for the Edmonton Oilers, where he won five Stanley Cup championships, but also for the New York Rangers, where he became a legend when he helped them win their first title in 54 years. In his career, the Canadian won a total of six Stanley Cup championships, as well as two regular season MVP awards, and one Conn Smythe trophy. He was a 15-time All-Star, and he was known for his leadership and physical style of play, as well as his offensive abilities. Number 6, Maurice Richard. The first player in history to notch 50 markers in a campaign, Maurice Rocket Richard is the namesake of the award now given to the league's top goal scorer at season's end. Richard was years ahead of the game, and at the time of his retirement, he held 17 NHL records. Born in 1921 in Montreal, Richard played in the NHL from 1942 to 1960 for the Montreal Canadiens, winning eight Stanley Cup titles with them, receiving one MVP award, and being a 14-time All-Star along the way. He was the first great hockey scorer, ending his career with 544 goals, which was a record at the time. Richard was not only a great player, but he was also a cultural icon in Quebec, as he was a symbol of the French-Canadian community's pride and resilience. Number 5, Joan Beliveau. Beliveau is undoubtedly one of the greatest winners in hockey history. 
He won a Stanley Cup title in half of the seasons he played in his career, winning 10 in total, and being only surpassed by his teammate Henri Richard, who won the same 10 championships with him, and another one after Beliveau's retirement. However, Beliveau was the star and leader of that team, receiving two MVPs in his career. Beliveau was the NHL's leading scorer twice, he received two Conn Smythe trophies, and was a 13-time All-Star. In a career that spanned from 1950 to 1971, Beliveau, born in 1931 in Quebec, played his whole career for the Montreal Canadiens, helping the franchise become the most successful franchise in NHL history. Number 4, Mario Lemieux. Lemieux was as physically gifted as they come, and was one of the best goal scorers the league has ever witnessed. He owns four of the 17 highest single-season outputs in league history, and he and Wayne Gretzky are the only two players to score 69 goals four separate times. Lemieux also holds the fifth-highest point total in a single season at 199. Born in 1965 in Montreal, the Canadian played his whole NHL career for the Pittsburgh Penguins, from 1984 to 1997, and then again from 2000 to 2006. He won two Stanley Cup championships, being awarded the Conn Smythe Trophy both times, was the league's MVP three times, and won six Art Ross trophies while also being a nine-time All-Star. Still, Mario Lemieux remains one of the biggest what-ifs in sports history, as cancer limited his potential. Number 3, Bobby Orr. Defensemen aren't known for scoring a lot of points, unless their name is Bobby Orr. He was the greatest defenseman to ever play in the NHL, and he was the first historic offensive defenseman, becoming the first one to ever lead the league in points. But his offensive contributions were only part of Orr's greatness, as he secured eight straight Norris trophies as the league's top defensive player. Born in 1948 in Ontario, Canada, or played in the NHL from 1966 to 1979, for both the Boston Bruins and the Chicago Blackhawks. In a shortened career due to injuries, which forced him to retire at just 31 years old, or was named the league's MVP three times, and helped his teams win two Stanley Cup championships. Also, Orr's goal in the 1970 Stanley Cup Finals to win the championship has become one of the most iconic images in hockey history. Had he played longer, Bobby Orr could have made the case for the greatest hockey player of all time. Number 2, Gordie Howe. You don't get nicknamed Mr. Hockey for nothing. Born in 1928 in Saskatchewan, Canada, Gordie Howe played 26 seasons in the NHL, being 25 of them for the Detroit Red Wings, and 6 more in the WHA, for a total of 32 seasons in professional hockey, from 1946 to 1980, with a brief 3-year break from 1971 to 1974. Longevity of that sort is not common in any sport, let alone a physically demanding one like hockey. Moreover, Howe scored 20-plus goals for a record 23 consecutive seasons, even scoring 15 goals when he returned to the NHL in 1980, being 52 years old, yes, 52 years old. But age isn't the only impressive number. How was the leader in career points, with 1,850, assists, with 1,049, and goals, becoming the first player ever to score 800 career goals, ending his career with 801 goals in 26 NHL seasons, which was a record when he retired, and 174 other goals in 6 WHA seasons. If that wasn't enough, how was a 6-time MVP, which was another record at the time of his retirement, a 23-time All-Star, and a 6-time scoring champion, and he helped the Red Wings to 4 Stanley Cup championships. With all that said, there is only one reason why Howe is not number one, and that reason goes by the name of. Number 1, Wayne Gretzky. You should have been expecting this one. Being nicknamed the Great One is a sign that you are doing something right, it signifies being the greatest, and Wayne Gretzky does that perfectly. Gretzky has more career assists than any other player in NHL history has total points. Just that feat alone arguably stands above all as the most dominating stat across the big four of sports. Born in 1961 in Ontario, Canada, Gretzky played in the NHL from 1979 to 1999, mainly for the Edmonton Oilers, but also for the Los Angeles Kings, St. Louis Blues, and New York Rangers. The Great One managed to win four Stanley Cup titles, all with the Oilers, 10 Art Ross trophies, and a record nine MVP awards, receiving his first one at age 19, all while making 18 All-Star games. Gretzky was the first and only player in history to record 200 points in a single season, doing so in four seasons, and he retired owning 61 NHL records, 
also being honored by the league with every team retiring his famous number 99. Included in those 61 NHL records are the record for all-time goals, with 894, points, with 2,857, and assists, with 1,963. And all of these records and trophies come from a man who was told he was too small and too slow to play hockey. Oh, and that he'd never make it to the NHL. As you can see, they got it all right. So, we conclude our list with the great one. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to let us know by leaving a like on it. Also, be sure to subscribe so you can become part of the Who's Number One family, but first, don't forget to let us know your favorite all-time hockey player in the comments section. Thank you for watching, and until next time.